started. Oh, that was quick. Lion, tiger, bear. Uh, let's see, it's time to start off with the uh, E4. The Sicilian. Okay, he plays the E6 Sicilian. That's interesting. Let's see if he goes for the con or the... Hey, he's going for the con Sicilian. Hmm. Okay, um, that's right. This uh, is where you play bishop to d3, taking advantage of the fact that he hasn't played knight f6. Okay, he just went b6. Okay, that uh, allows him to develop his bishop to this diagonal. Um, do I want a castle? I think I want a castle king side here. And maybe... Um, <clears throat> Get off that diagonal to prepare um, f4, and he opens that up immediately. So I think uh, this shouldn't be so great for black to open things up so quickly. Let's see. So let's take. I don't want him to take and then maybe exchange some pieces. I want to keep keep the pieces on here. So now I have to worry about this knight. This knight is loose. Play c3. I could drop my knight back to f f3 because <clears throat> I might want to bring my knight out to c3. Let's do that. Get a tempo on that bishop. I assume he doesn't want to give up that nice bishop. So he just goes back. I can pin his knight. Then um, I can get my rook to the d file here. So, yeah, maybe this is not so great, not as big an edge as I thought. I'm also taking a look at the A pawn here. Um, let's slow down and, and uh, take a look at this. So, I have some slight edge in development because I've got the, my queen and my rooks uh, playing, and he still has to develop his knight, but he'll get the knight out or on the next move or two. So, nothing big is happening. So, is he threatening knight to uh, g Four, maybe, maybe knight g4 is a threat. No, it's not a threat <laughs> because my knight's still defending here. He could the threat would be bishop takes knight, queen takes, and then knight g4. But then I take the knight, or knight g4. Say I play h3, then then he takes, and I take back, and then he mates me. So let's go ahead and play h3. Keep the knight out of there. And um, can I get something going here? His um, B pawn looks a little weak. Let's uh, push my A pawn forward here. Maybe maybe I can provoke some some kind of reaction over on the queen side. He goes there. That hits my bishop and the pawn. The pawn is defended. Yeah, I don't have any good square for that bishop, that's true. So let's um, let's see, if I go forward, I guess he can just take it. Hmm, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not getting much out of this game, am I? Okay, let's uh, provoke something here. Let's not just leave things hanging. Get maybe my rooks developed. So yeah, so black must be a little better here because he's got the bishop pair. He's got a solid structure with no weaknesses. And uh, he can just trade off into an end game, which is apparently what he's going to do. I have to take here. Check. I don't want to allow him to take. And, um, well, what, what can I do? I can go after... Um, the uh, b-pawn here. And um, so we gave up the a-pawn. And then he can take here if I take that. And 
I can take here hitting his queen. So let's take a look at this. Queen takes a6, bishop takes f3, bishop takes b6, hitting his queen. His queen could come down here with check, though. That would be annoying. So probably bishop takes, queen takes. Hmm. I don't like it. Let's, um, let's save that knight. And now let's take the pawn. And let's see, I can trade off this bishop so he doesn't have the bishop pair advantage anymore, and I'll have an outside passed pawn. Looks good at first. Now, where does this knight want to go? Maybe knight here. Knight to uh, d3 blocks the d-file so his queen can't come in and uh, check me here, which would be annoying. Um, he could push the pawn forward. Could also just go knight there. Well, here, let's... Um, put some pressure on a C pawn and see what he does here. I don't see any great ideas for black. He can he can sac try sacrificing the bishop, I guess. And look, he's got eight minutes on his clock still. So that, I thought, lost, lost a pawn, right? Uh, the knight and the queen are both on that square. He's got a back rank problem, so he can't just lift his queen off the back rank. But he can, I can deliver a check here now. Check. That's true. So I might lose some kind of pawn, but um, I don't see it. The next check has to be from here. Or he has to play some other move. I think I can just uh, win with this outside passed pawn here. As long as I don't succumb to some uh, check. perpetual check of some kind. So I think at some point uh, Black was doing pretty well. He just never bothered to, to slow down. I think uh, if he had slowed down at the right moment. He might have uh, might have gotten something out of this game. Okay, so his king is subject to a check. This pawn is pinned. I can push this pawn forward. Probably pushing my outside passed pawn forward is the best idea. And I can still push it. <clears throat> Now he's looking at this pawn over here. He can also come in here. So where's the check? If I go here, he can't check here or here because my queen and my pawn are guarding those squares. Needed to defend uh, f2. So I need something here, some clever way to exploit the use of that pawn. How about queen here? Defends the pawn, he still has no check. And I'm threatening this check on uh, b7 there, which would win, force a trade. Ah, oh, yeah, and that allows me to get on this diagonal. So queen b7 is a good move anyway, because now he has no checks. And he can't stop me from queening that pawn. So he goes there. Yeah, he's probably looking at, at pushing those pawns forward, right? Also protecting his king from checks. 
Black resigns. But yeah, I didn't see anything he could do. Um, okay, so I will upload this and do a postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.